Being on the carnivore diet, we eat almost 15 pounds of meat a week, and we wanted to know if we can save money by shopping at Costco. Hey y'all, welcome back to our channel, We're the Carnivore Couple. I'm Pat. And I'm Caitlin. And welcome to our new little setup we got going on. <laughs> Basically, it's not next to the baby's room because I woke him up the last time we filmed. Yeah. He <laughs> was not happy. <laughs> Being carnivore and Caitlin ketovore, mm -hmm. we eat a lot of meat. Yeah. <laughs> so normally we would shop at Walmart because it's cheaper, but the quality of meat is not so great. There was this one time we had just finished eating a steak from Walmart and then the night of, we were both puking our guts mm -hmm. up. It was terrible. <laughs> so we decided that we were going to look into shopping at Costco. And if you don't know, Costco is just a bulk food store and they have lots of other stuff. And we thought it might be cheaper to buy meat there, but the membership is $60 a year. So we thought we would go into Costco, check it out for our first time to see if it's worth it. All right, Pat, any thoughts before we're no longer Costco virgins? <laughs> uh, no, just excited to check it out, see what the hype is about. I've never been here before, so we're gonna see what the, all, what, what the buzz is about. All right, let's go get it. <laughs> So yeah, we've never been here before. We're just trying to find bacon and eggs. So this is new. Oh, look, we have Cameron's coffee, our favorite. Are a lot of people here? Have we just been missing out the whole time? I don't know. <laughs> we have finally found the bacon, y'all. Finally got it. That was like Chick-fil-A checkout. Hi, yeah, yeah. Super fast, it was crazy. <laughs> Why was it so fast? There's two dudes. One was scanning the big stuff. The other guy was just sliding everything through. It was like, <laughs> it was like magic. <laughs> Okay. All right, y'all. So at Costco, we spent a total of one hundred and ninety-six dollars and fifty-nine cents on twenty-six pounds of meat and six dozen eggs. Mm -hmm. But keep watching because we're going to compare prices to Walmart and Costco to see if that sixty-dollar membership was worth it. At Costco, eggs were one ninety-nine for two dozen. Walmart was three sixteen for two dozen. So point to Costco. Bacon was four dollars and eighty-three cents a pound but $5.78 per pound at Walmart, point Costco. Ground beef, 80.20, was $3.99 at Costco, but $5.34 at Walmart, point for Costco. Cream was $6.74 for 32 ounces at Costco and $4.98 for 32 ounces at Walmart. However, the cream that we bought was organic. That was the only kind they had. So I think that one was just a tie. So let's talk about beef. <laughs> New York strip was $10.75 at Costco, $14.97 at Walmart. So point for Costco. Chuck roast was $5.54 a pound at Costco, $6.67 a pound at Walmart. Point for Costco. Ribeye was $11.99 a pound. This was choice ribeye, by the way, at Costco. And $14.97 a pound at Walmart. So point for Costco. When we were in Costco, we were also looking for sugar-free ketchup, sugar-free barbecue sauce, and sugar-free coffee creamer. And we found none of that. Oh. We did find one sugar-free Kinder's barbecue sauce, mm -hmm. but when we looked on the back of the label, it had seven total grams of carbs per serving. So we didn't get that. So definitely point for Walmart if you're looking for any type of sugar-free condiments. So in total, we saved $63 shopping at Costco over Walmart, yeah. which actually paid for our membership, so that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and not only did we save money, but we also found that the quality of meat was way better than Walmart, mm -hmm. and they had a ton more options. First of all, their choice ribeyes, which is the ones we bought, were really, really good. Like, mm -hmm. there were a lot of good fat in there, melted in your mouth, it was delicious. Even I liked them. <laughs> yeah. They had, I mean, every kind of cut of meat you could think of. At our normal grocery store, Walmart, sometimes we would go to Hy-Vee, which is kind of a regional store. Mm -hmm. They'd only have a few cuts of meat. Yeah. At Costco, they had ribeyes, sirloins, they had New York strip, I mean, you name it. They had pork loins they had for pork $1.99 loins, a, huge, a pound. Huge thing of pork loin, yeah, for, yeah, for $1.99 a pound. It was awesome. Pound. I mean, you name it, they had it. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't almost going out of stock because lots of time mm -hmm. we would go to our local grocery store, our Walmart, and they would almost be out of steak. And when you're trying to buy, you know, four, five, six steaks, like, mm -hmm. you really need them to have them in stock. Yeah, and we were on we were there on a Saturday afternoon and it was pretty packed. There was a lot of people there, but they still had a ton of meat available to yeah. buy. Mm -hmm. So I really prefer Costco over yeah. Walmart. We did want to say though that even though you save money buying at Costco, you do have to buy in bulk. Mm -hmm. So we bought a 
chuck roast, but we had to buy seven pounds of chuck roast, which is fine because we're gonna eventually eat it. But then we took that home and then we divided it into, you know, three servings so that we have three different roasts in our freezer. So just keep that in mind that you are gonna need freezer space to be able to divide your ground beef, your chuck roast, your different meats up so that you can take advantage of buying in bulk and the savings that come with that. So if you're on the carnivore diet, you may want to consider buying a boat to save money. And if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We really appreciate it. It helps us out a lot. And if you need some practical ideas for meals this week, be sure to click on this video where we show you how to make hamburger crust pizza. Thanks everyone for watching. Stay strong.